The Japanese government says it's taken a step forward on the long road toward decommissioning Fukushima Daiichi. Prime Minister Yoshihiko Noda held a news conference on Friday to announce that the nuclear plant's damaged reactors are in a state of cold shutdown. That means temperatures are below 100 degrees Celsius. A state of cold shutdown at the Fukushima Daiichi does not have much meaning. For the nuclear power plants, the experts verified the nuclear power plants thoroughly to conclude that the cooling water circulates in a stable manner. And the temperatures at the bottom of the reactor and inside the containment vessel stay below 100 degrees Celsius. TEPCO workers cannot measure the pre precise temperature of the melted fuel, even in the event of an accident. Radiation level at the periphery of the plant can be maintained low, and this was technically confirmed by experts. Uh, the experts say declaring cold shutdown of Fukushima doesn't have much meaning. With this, we had a meeting today at Nuclear Disaster Response Headquarters chaired by myself. And this meeting confirmed that the reactors achieved a state of cold shutdown. The accident is now under control. Why is Prime Minister not uh, declaring this? Well, that's because it's part of the timetable. And the phase two of the roadmap to bring the plant accident under control is complete. And then make sure it's safe for people to return to areas surrounding the facility. What the fuck? Uh, more than uh, nearly 90,000 people have been living away from their hometowns and since mid-March. Noda wants to begin reviewing the no-go zone, no zones and evacuation areas it set up around Fukushima Daiichi, but radiation levels are still high in many places, so moving forward on that issue could take time. The Japanese announcement about the state of cold shutdown at the Fukushima nuclear plant has drawn mixed reactions from other countries. U.S. Deputy Secretary of State Thomas Nides said the U.S. government thinks Japan has made the right choices in getting the nuclear plant under control. He said a lot of U.S. companies are interested in helping to clean up radioactive materials. But the Japanese announcement of cold shutdown has also drawn criticism in the United States and China. The New York Times quoted experts as saying the Japanese announcement does not reflect the true situation at the nuclear plant and that the government only made it to take the spotlight off the crisis. China's state-run Xinhua News Agency quoted experts as saying that the temperature in the reactors cannot be measured accurately and that Tokyo Electric has no way to determine how stable the reactors are. A government panel has proposed that a radiation exposure limit in areas that have been evacuated should be 10 millisieverts per year or less within two years. Radiology experts have compiled a report on possible health effects stemming from relatively low levels of radiation. And uh, the report says there is no proof that health risks will increase at the level of 20 millisieverts per year, the mark set by the government for evacuation. For decontaminating the evacuation zones, the report proposes a target of 10 millisieverts per year within two years. It says the target should eventually be lowered to one millisievert over the long term. The International Commission on Radiological Protection recommends one millisievert per year as the long-term annual limit for people not working in nuclear power plants. The report also urges radioactivity levels in the air be lowered below one microsievert per hour before reopening schools in evacuation zones. It also calls for continued monitoring of children for internal radiation exposure. The operator of the plant has decided not to release decontaminated water into the ocean for the time being. TEPCO is in the process of decontaminating radioactive water that's collecting in the basements of the reactor buildings. The decontaminated water is being recycled as coolant for the reactors. However, underground water continues to seep into the basement. 
The total amount of water containing radioactive materials exceeds initial estimates. TEPCO is currently storing the treated water in tanks on the plant's premises. TEPCO was considering discharging the treated water into the ocean. Fishermen protested and the utility postponed the decision. TEPCO now says it will not release water into the ocean until it implements three measures, blocking underground water from entering the basements, improving and stabilizing decontamination equipment, and increasing the number of storage tanks. We will definitely take the three steps and fully brief the National Fisheries Association and local fishermen on our plan to deal with the decontaminated water. TEPCO also says it will not begin the release until it has received approval from relevant government offices, including the Fisheries Ministry. で、あの、なんて言うんですか、こう仲間の これ First debris from the tsunami washed ashore in Washington State. Buoys with Japanese markings are the first flotsam that could be identified as coming from the tsunami in Japan. It's believed a debris field the size of California is headed to our west coast and may reach shore sometime over the next year. Should we drink before the meeting or after? Or both? So, that's it, huh? Relax. Don't be short with me. You're the writer. It was worth a try. Great, got a minute here to see you? Send her in. Oh, great. Now, our reporter, Miho Fukunaga, joins us now. Now, Miho, he announced a couple of hours ago, and he announced now that the, the reactor is in a state of cold shutdown, though problems remain. What else is he we can understand from his speech now. Well, um, first of all, the temperature in the damaged reactors and their containment vessels is below 100 degrees Celsius. The plant makeshift cooling system has managed to stabilize the reactors. And a giant shield that's been put over the reactor number one building has greatly reduced radiation leaks. This announcement is just the beginning of a decommissioning process that will last up to four decades. But then this announcement the announcement has been expected for weeks. Um, what kind of reaction is it getting now? Well, um, some nuclear experts say declaring, uh, declaring a state of cold shutdown at the Fukushima Daiichi does not have much meaning. This term of cold shutdown is usually reserved for healthy, not damaged reactors. In the number one reactor, all the nuclear fuel has melted through the pressure vessel, much of it into the containment vessel. Then it burned through part of the concrete that covers the bottom of the vessel. The situation is similar inside reactors number two and three. Tape core workers cannot measure the pre precise temperature of the melted fuel. The operator is working on finding out more details of what's going on inside the reactors as well as improving cooling systems and other equipment to maintain the stable conditions. So if um, the experts say declaring cold shutdown of Fukushima doesn't have much meaning, 
why is Prime Minister not uh, declaring this? Well, that's because it's part of the timetable that to stabilize the plant and then make sure it's safe for people to return to areas surrounding the facility. Uh, more than uh, nearly 90,000 people have been living away from their hometowns and since mid-March, NODA wants to begin reviewing the no-go zone, no zones and evacuation areas it set up around Fukushima Daiichi, but radiation levels are still high in many places, so moving forward on that issue could take time. Well, thank you very much, Miho. That was our reporter, Miho Fukunaga.